this is Misha again with just a vlog. Um, no real purpose except I just would like to talk. It's evening and um, everyone in the house is already doing something. And um, just trying to relax after after today. Um, I guess what I really wanted to talk about was, well, heck, why does anybody have a vlog you want to talk about yourself? and you feel like nobody else wants to listen to you so you make the whole world listen to you and then everything will be good right <laughs> or you know maybe nobody but anyway so um i have been kind of i guess i would say now infatuated with goth goth subculture since i was probably about 11 years old but since I've grown up in a very conservative household um, Christian except not regular Christian it's actually kind of a lot more strict um, so I was kind of afraid of it I was always told you know that um, anything that makes a woman look sexual or sexually desirable is um it's really really bad it makes you into a bad person it makes people think you're bad and all just sort of crap so i stayed away from it except for like one t-shirt i loved when i was 12 i had like a picture of a monkey on it that's ears were full of piercings that said what like drama queen in training or some silly stuff like that i mean you know just those shirts I loved it, and my mom hated it. She made me stop wearing it. Said it was inappropriate, probably because she didn't want me to go out and get all those piercings myself. I only have one set of piercings, and no tattoos, if anybody's curious. Probably not. Um, I got uh, my ears pierced when I was seven years old. You can see, here's this one. And then here is this one. Since I was such a little kid when they were done, they're not even... One's, let me see, this one's done like higher up on the lobe than this one is, um, but I figure, hey, it's a pretty good job for like drawing in some dots with a marker on a little kid and then shooting each ear simultaneously, and it gets the job done, nobody can really tell, anyway, so, and then you, you can see I just put these in there, um, and I, I know people are going to say, those are for other kinds of piercings, or for your, I don't know, your nose, your lip, your eyebrow, your... I don't know. But, um, these are the only piercings I have, and they're really the only ones I want, so I put them there. And then, once these are in, I don't have to worry about putting earrings in and out every day. And there's something there, and I think it has more personality than just, like, a little stud, just a regular something. I like it a lot. Anyway. Ooh. Oh, anyway. Yes. Gothy things. And then, um, hmm. I don't know, I, I think it just kind of, I kind of dressed like my mom until I was 17, 18 years old. Really sad. My mom has no sense of style. I know it's silly, and it's mean to be like tearing down my mom like that, but it's partially not her fault. I mean, it's her fault for her hair. She's had, she's had the same poof since 1989 and it's not even a good poof it's like anyway I'm sorry um and she doesn't know how to apply makeup because she grew up in the same uh, or similar restrictions that I did so for most of her life she didn't even wear it so when she puts it on it's like too heavy in these places and too light in these places and I have to come and fix her eyeshadow because she doesn't know how to put it on the other day I caught her I caught her going through my makeup bag like a little kid looking for colors she liked. It was hilarious. She ended up picking like some sort of lavender color. Whatever. Anyway. Um, so I did that and um, I fought with my parents from the time I was about 15 onward because I wasn't, technically I was not allowed to wear any kind of makeup at all. And I would get caught wearing <laughs> foundation and strawberry chapstick and let's see sparkly beige eyeshadow and mascara and I got in trouble for, for that a lot and I, and I know I was a kid and I like spackled 
foundation, it was stupid looking, but I was so um, self-conscious about my skin. So you can probably see my skin is yucky again. Ugh, it's disgusting. But whatever. I just didn't wear any foundation today. Let it breathe for a day. So, well, except for other things. My eyes don't need to breathe. Just the rest of my skin does. Um, and then, um, I didn't start really, really experimenting with how I looked until I, not when I started college, but when I moved away to, for college, because I transferred to Northern, Northern Arizona University fall of last year, and, um, I finally lived away from my parents, and I didn't feel like I had to hide, you know, what I wanted to wear or what I wanted to look like. Um, I could just do whatever with my face or my body, and, and then I realized I really, you know, I don't know, I've always liked dark music and Edgar Allan Poe and Bram Stoker, the, the classics. I think I just finished Wuthering Heights when I, when I decided to, um, go goth, you know, exclamation no, not exclamation, um, quotation marks. So at first I was really, really nervous because, um, my boyfriend and I would become engaged a little bit before I decided to totally come out with it. And I was so surprised, I was so scared and so afraid that he would condemn me for it. But then he said no. It's cute, I like it, it's you, and sexy, and, you know, it looks good, and I like it. A lot. <laughs> like, a lot. A lot more than I expected he would. No, no comments on that, please. But, um... Yeah. And then, I guess what I really wanted to talk about majorly was... Mainly, I mean... Was, um, once I came home for the summer. This... March. Um, back then my hair was still blonde, I bleached it from its regular kind of light brownish mousy color. And I'd stopped wearing foundation a color too dark, and went more like, I have shade too pale. And I started wearing all this like obvious colors and stuff, and you know, shaping my eyebrows and things. And my parents... Um, not only did they not recognize me, which I guess I understand, but they just... I got used to people on campus almost expecting you to be kind of artsy or different in some way, and they really didn't care. Um, or, I mean, you just get known for... I was known for wearing different colors of lipstick. Probably can't tell right now, but this is actually purple. <laughs> I like it. You know, it's the... That's something I've had to say to a lot of people lately. Just, you know, it, like, what is that you're wearing? Is that black lipstick? Is that a sweater with a spider on it? Is that a necklace shaped like a bat? Or whatever it is, you know. And I'd say, yeah. And then, I like it. I think, um, I think it's beautiful, you know. And I think I've, I've, I've done it well and it fits me. And uh, you get responses anywhere from nothing to... Well, I don't like it. I don't think it's beautiful. And just this condemning thing. I actually, this is a funny story. I should, I should include this with some. Um, people are always talking about um, share your time when somebody yelled goth at you in the street or something. And I've never really been in a situation yet where somebody would say that. Because I've never lived in a big city or anything. And people in small cities, it's like they don't know that goths even exist. So they wouldn't even know to think of that. Um, in between just staring at you with bug eyes, like you have a zillion heads and three eyeballs or something. But <laughs> um, one day I went to um, church, and it was um, kind of a group function. I saw a bunch of people I hadn't seen in a long time, because my family's church is extremely small, and there's not much socialization associated with it. But um, there's this one boy, he's like 12 or 13, 
poor guy. He's really socially awkward. And um, he's known for following everybody around and asking them questions all the time. And he's had a crush on me for a couple of years. Don't know what to do about it. He's jailbait, and I've never been interested. Poor little thing. But, yeah, um, he looked at me and he's like, what happened to you? You know, where did that um, sweet, brown-haired, never-wear-makeup girl go? Where did she go, you know? Um, you look like an evil old nasty witch, and I'm afraid you're going to put a spell on me, and you're going to, you know... And then he asked me all these questions about the occult. Um, I mean, I might know a little tiny bit. I mean, I know what an Ouija board looks like. I'm probably not even pronouncing it right, but I know what it looks like. And my aunt um, does tarot readings for people. I've never had it done myself. And I've never... I'm not interested in that because it's not part of my belief system. But he was convinced that I was, you know, I knew about all the magic rituals and the Ouija boards and the necromancy and I could tell him everything he needed to know about staying away from horrible satanic things. Because obviously I was doing them. And um, I know a lot of people who are goth, they're... Sorry about that. Anyway, um, my mom is down here yelling and doing laundry and stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, um, a lot of goths do practice different kinds of spiritualisms and, uh, Wicca and neo-pagan and all sorts of different things. Um, but still having a little kid tell you, you know, you're on the fast track to becoming evil and a druggy and stuff is not fun. <laughs> and that conversation lasted a long time. And see, all I did to deserve this was a little bit of gray eyeshadow, lavender lipstick, um, foundation with no bronzer, and um, a black dress with a black sweater that had a sparkly spider web on the back. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, yes, and I wore a spider pendant. Oh, here I'll show you. It is one of my absolute favorite pieces of jewelry, if I can find it. Where is it? Not in here. Here in here. Here we go. Here's the jewelry bag. See? I've been packing so much for my trip to Italy. I can't find anything. <laughs> it's all in various places in my luggage, so... This is the necklace I wore. Pretty, huh? I got this from Spencer's. I basically have my jewelry from Spencer's because I think that's a little more streamlined than Hot Topic. Yes, I've been in there. Yes, I've considered buying things, but it's too expensive for me. Except I got some panties on sale or something. They're really cute and really, really comfortable. I know. Too much information! Don't want to know about your panties! But yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, he thought I was evil, and so, yeah. I'm stuck here, and then I'll fly to Italy, yay, and have tons and tons of things to do. And be away from, from my Calvin. But I won't mind being not here so much. It'll be nice. <laughs> I'll have a host family to stay with. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I hope your day is going wonderfully, or night. Yeah, have a beautiful night. It is beautiful out there. And um, I'll talk to you later. Love and kisses. Bye.